From PreviewsWorld.com, it's still San Diego. We're going strong and we're here talking to Nathan. He's here signing books at the Image booth and he's going to take a few minutes to tell us about what's going on in the world of the activity and Dan, sir, and sir, thank you so much for taking a few minutes with us. My pleasure. Tell me about the activity. What's going on right now? Uh, the activity for readers who've been uh, following along, our, our military thriller series, it's uh, where we've, the first trade has been collected and now we're moving into the next sort of stage of the story where we're going to continue with real episodes uh, heavily researched, you know, as, as accurate as possible, uh, military thriller stories and sort of missions, but um, we're going to start to introduce some new things, part of which is going to be connections between earlier issues and new issues. Uh, you're going to start to see some new characters and, and get to see the world of the activity and the group and what it is in a slightly, you know, more clear way now. We're, we're going to start to understand a little bit about who they are and how they operate. And when I mean, when I say that, I mean how they really operate in real life. Our, our research over the past uh, six months and a year has continued to pile on more and more information for us. And so we're now in a point where you can use that. Uh, issue seven is an issue co-plotted with the U.S. Navy SEALs. Uh, and they helped us plot, in particular, a scene which really launches the next five issues and ties into uh, everything that's going to happen in those and, uh, and, and sort of a ripple effect. Um, and uh, How did you manage to get in touch with the Navy SEALs to coordinate a plot? Well, the interesting thing is, like, we... You know, or am so, I divulging? That's national security information. Oh, we can't divulge that uh, <laughs> I, I can't say exactly who or, or you know, I mean, there, there are certain things we can talk about or we're asked not to talk about. Um, but, uh, you know, the funny thing is, we, yes, we worked with the Navy SEALs and they, gave, they helped give us some really detailed notes on exactly how they would pull off this scenario. Uh, but every issue we work on, we, we with every issue we work on, we consult with... Uh, whether it's uh, third group special forces, whether it's special forces enablers, whether it's defense intelligence agency, uh, whether it's uh, Delta, uh, the unit, uh, we're consulting with all these guys to get input and notes on every single issue we do. So, you know, we've really promoted the fact that the SEALs have been involved, one, because of uh, how high profile they are in the news right now, um, and two, because, uh, you know, the, the kind of input they gave us was unique to the book. Uh, most of the book is green, which is to say it's on the Army side, so bringing in the Navy was neat. Uh, but again, Every issue has the same level of involvement of military experts at significant levels, uh, many of whom we truly can't talk about. So, um, so, uh, but the way that all comes about is just we foster relationships and we get input from people and we gain the trust of certain uh, people in, in that world. And we have people who read and review our scripts and give us information. And uh, that's part of our dedication. Mitch and I, uh, Mitch Garrett's the artist, that's part of our dedication to the book is doing what we can to get it right while still making it an entertaining story. Now there's a lot of people, it looks like you got at least one good guy, front cover of Dancer. What's the, uh, how do you shift gears in going from the activity to the Dancer? Well, Dancer, you know, everything was written. I write very far ahead on everything I do. That way, if I need to switch gears, I can afford the time. So I've written the next, I don't know, six to ten issues of the activity at any given time. Same with Dancer, I wrote all five issues at once. Now, every time I see a new issue, I go back and retool, rework, recraft a little bit. And, uh, you know, because I've learned more, I've worked with the artist, the story may have changed for whatever reason. Um, you know, it, the story evolves. You know, there's a degree of organic growth as you move through a story. Um, but for Focusing on Dancer because it's more of a contained tale and five issues, uh, I think differently about how to you know, perfectly tie off every loop and how to make sure every arc has the right crescendo and diminuendo into you know, the, the key moments and pops in the book. Uh, with the activity, you know, the mindset's a little bit different. We're always thinking very, very far ahead. We're thinking about slow development of characters, little bits of information at a time, and how to sustain interest without uh, just throwing down and showing all our cards at once. You're here for the duration of the show. Any panels coming up that uh, you might be sharing some of your insights or anything like that? We'll be uh, talking about the Jake Ellis sequel, Where Is Jake Ellis? And talking about the release date for that and showing some uh, showing some teaser art and uh, letting people know it's it's in the bag and it's coming. So we're very excited about that story. It picks up very soon after where uh, we leave Jake and John in the uh, first installment and um, takes the story in a slightly darker direction for a good five issues. So uh, we can look forward to a little bit more more of a a little bit more of a bite in this story, a little bit more of a tooth and nail struggle for John Moore. And again, the key question this time is less about the identity of Jake Ellis and more about who is Jake Ellis. Right. Most of who is Jake Ellis. Now it's uh, 
Now it's about where is he and, and what exactly that means to the story readers will have to find out. Um, but we're very excited, of course. Uh, I'm very excited, absolutely, to be working again with Tanchi uh, Zianich on, uh, on, on the book. I mean, his one of my favorite collaborators. The chemistry with us is as strong, uh, between us is as strong as it was in the first one. And so we're, we're just thrilled to be moving forward on it. And um, it's something I've been waiting, you know, waiting to see on the internet for a while. So I'm glad we can finally share with the world. Well, sir, thank you so much for taking time with us and discussing with us your projects. We wish you all the best and the luck. And we hope to see you more in the pages of previews. So, because that's where we can find all your stuff. Absolutely. You know? Folks, Nathan, keep reading comics.